real estate terms. They can be a little bit confusing at first if you haven't heard some of them before. And I find, especially with first-time buyers, there can be some confusion and hesitation about the terminology. So we're here to help. One of the common ones that I get asked about is what's the difference between the down payment and the deposit? Or indeed, they're simply confused and people aren't realizing that they're not the same thing. So let's take some, take some very easy numbers. Let's suppose you're, in, you're going to be making a purchase of real estate for $500,000. $500,000 is the purchase price. And you've arranged that you're going to be having mortgage amount of $400,000. And that $100,000 of the money to be put toward the $500,000 is coming from your own resources. That $100,000 is the down payment. Now what about the deposit? Well, on that same purchase, at the time that the offer is made, usually within 24 hours of acceptance of the offer by the seller, you have to submit a deposit. And that deposit could be uh, any amount. It depends. It's a negotiable between the buyer and the seller, but usually it's going to be less than the down payment amount. Let's say for the sake of argument in this hypothetical situation, the deposit that's on the purchase agreement is $50,000. So you're going to submit that typically to the listing brokerage at the time of the offer or within 24 hours of the offer. So here's where some of the further confusion comes in. Do you still owe need to take $100,000 to your lawyer for the closing, the money from your own proceeds? Uh, no. The $50,000 is essentially, in the deposit, is essentially the first $50,000 of the $100,000 down payment. So in this scenario, you need to take $50,000 more to your lawyer's office at closing. I hope that helps. By the way, I'm Tracy Appleton. I'm from the My Home and KW group. If you find this kind of content helpful, we try to be educational, then please do consider subscribing to our page and give us a like. Bye for now.